Should I drop off as is tradition? Nah. I might get kicked. My DPS is already not that good. Feared effect. You cannot do anything and you run away. The game will not prevent you walking off of ledges though. Uh, the game will prevent you walking off of ledges though, so it's just a loss of control effect. And melee people might lose their uh, positioning. Oh, here we are. Maybe we should go and turn in the quests? Although there's still stuff left to do. Let's hope we can make it back in time. Uh, I've been expecting you. Nothing interesting or blue. Gloves or feet? Well, gloves. We already got feet recently. And with getting, with not picking feet, the game decides to have pity on us and give us a quest, uh, give us a skill that involves feet. It's called Kick. It's an off-global cooldown spell you can cast in melee range that interrupts the target when it's casting something.
That was one persistent torch. So currently we're doing an escort through the dungeon. This is one of the longer dungeons I thought at the early level. There's like tons of bosses. Already done five, there's more to come. Regardless, we've already gotten some good loot from the like a couple of blue items. We'll need to set up a weak aura for a kick later. Here he sleeps. So we gotta protect him. Oh, here comes some more. Mutinous, the Devourer. Ouch. It stunned me before I had a chance to stun it. Not that it would have helped, because it is probably unstunnable, but still. And the kick interrupted that spell. That's one dead murloc. I am awake. Ah, we got a ring. And a fin. And the ring gives us stamina, crit, and verse. It's better than any of the rings we don't have, because we don't have any. Well, 
we're done. We don't need to turn in any more quests here, so... Teleport out of dungeon. There. Frugal culture planted. Fungal. Not frugal. I got a lot of blue stuff from that. Blue is one tier better than green. Let's see how much better we do now. Ah, oh, crap, it's already time. Alright, I'm gonna stop the recording now. Uh, you might not even notice because I cut this out. But let's kill this Kodo with our new gear. Huh? Oh, it's stuck in a tree and it's regenning health. Because... Killed it anyway. So the mob was bugged and we still managed to kill it. That seems like a pretty good indication that uh, our DPS went up. And we're back. Let's continue with the Oasis stuff. Gorgol says, we went. We were sent here to track movements of the Kolkar Centaur, but after a week of watching these dirty am animals scamper all around the oasis, uh, itching to give my axe a taste of their necks, what do you say, Rogue? Want to cause a little havoc with me? Let's see if we can attract the attention of their strongest warrior, Kurak. Strength. Hi. Shu says, Ragnar Deathscare sent me here to observe the centaur activity, but the leader of this group is hard to pin down. I've discovered his name is Varog the Dervish, but his whereabouts are a mystery. Can you help me out with some digging? I know that centaur intelligence sounds like an oxymoron, but their camps are often littered with important communications. Search the centaur tents all around the stagnant oasis and bring me back some information. Now let's go... Careful, man. Hey there. Forgot to accept. Let's go help out Kolgar. Why aren't they coming up the mount? We all really need some new weapons. We're still using the leveling, uh, the, the starting zone weapons.
Eh, let's turn in the quest How already. Doing, man? Oh man, why you have to go setting off Gorgolov like that? Still, I can't argue with results. We'll need to watch these animals closely to see what they do with Quirka out of the way. More watching and waiting. Gorgol won't like that. Stay away from the hoodoo. Centaur intelligence. Alright, we still need to make a weak aura for kick. Uh, well, this is as good a place as any if you're stealthed. Wait, it already exists. What skill did we get last time? Wait, was it action usable? I guess it is. Alright then. Rocklands. As you can tell, he has a grey dragon around his interface, which means that he is a rare mob. Which means he'll drop some guaranteed rarer gear. Doesn't seem to be any centaur intelligence in here. Let's try and kill him. Doesn't seem like our Crimson Veil Weakor is working at all. Oh, I see, we used it. And then it triggered, so there's something wrong with the. There you go, when it's not on cooldown. Easy peasy. Uh, binds when equipped, but it's male, so it doesn't matter. Centaur Intelligence. This group of centaurs doesn't appear to be particularly intelligent. Let's move on to another group. I got ambushed by another raptor again. Gotta learn to watch out for that. It's how you die. Twice before you even reach level 20. No intelligence is here either. I think someone might have beaten us to, to this location. I see a gold glimmer in the distance. Didn't pickpocket him the first time. Go. 
to reapply poison. Winneth doesn't seem to have any centaur intelligence. Here's some. There are two, even. Surge those stents, try to ignore the stench. Good work, did you look through these? They're barely legible. More like angry graffiti than war plans, hatred, jealousy, rage, personal conflicts. It's a wonder Verok can keep these centaurs from killing each other, much less from much less form them into an army. We can use this to our advantage. Verok might be hard to find, but judging by the info you gathered, his mate Winneth is always in his command tent just west of here. If we kill her, Ver Verog will come running. Rekthar sent us here to scout, but he also said we should seize any opportunity to upset the centaur chain of command if we can. Lure out Verog and kill him. Okay, okay. Ah, we're getting rupture in two levels. That was rather easy, for a boss character at least. Well, bossed, quote unquote. Usually the named mobs are a tad tougher than that compared to the regular mobs. Talk to me. Did you find Varog? You did it. That'll really upset the balance of power down here. Verog left no clear successor, so I expect his crew of brutes will fall to each other like hungry dogs. I'll stay here and keep an eye on what happens next. He answered directly to the Korkar, Kolkar chief. Killing him is a good start, but there is more work to be done, and we get some bracers. Be seeing ya. Seems we got an upgrade for almost every piece of gear we have except our daggers. Yep. 
All except the daggers. Well, we did lose the buff, so I hope it still counts so you don't have to double back. She was almost dead. Or she was getting really low on health and started healing herself, in which point she wouldn't have been, but, you know, doesn't hurt to help someone out. Although that could just be Guild Wars and me talking. Can we walk up the mountain like this? Nope. We're gonna have to go there. Ah, oh, here it is. Alright, so we now have the buff. The winds guide you. Walk with the earth. I recall this quest always being a little bit wonky. Oh, and it's off. Alright, good, so it's doing something. We must do everything in our power to stop the same from happening here. We have to step up our investigations of the oases and stop this phenomenon of, at the source. We'll talk again at the crossroads. Oh, that was the previous player one. Well done, friend. From here we can survey the land. So basically, he was too lazy to walk here himself. Merciful Earth Mother, look at the scope of the devastation. Luckily, the entire entirety of the barrens isn't crumbling into the sea. But what's this? Something else is happening to the land south of the fissure. Indeed, the flora is growing unchecked, devouring the land, similar to our findings from the oases. I don't know, is it devouring the land if it's like plants? Wouldn't it be like improving the land? I guess if it's evil plants, that's not Greetings, true, but traveler. you know. Tonga knows these lands better than any of us, and I believe it physically hurt him to see it torn asunder. I am glad Tonga was able to witness the overgrowth firsthand. Words cannot convey the scope of the damage. Did you bring the, this totem? I will return it to him when I am finished here. Can what's happening to the south happen here? Judging by what they found at the Forgotten Pools, these oases may be the key. Let's perform an experiment. Here, take these seeds I've collected from the summit here. They are dead and infertile, but carry them down into the stagnant oasis just below us. If there is fissure, a fissure there, then place these seeds within it, and observe. 
Report your findings back to Tonga at the crossroads. We shall meet again. Ah, another quest. It will be important to study both plant and animal life impacted by the oases and the unusual energies you've discovered. The stagnant oasis below us is home to species of snapjaw turtles. Recently, their population has exploded. Moreover, the once peaceful animals are growing aggressive, as I learned the hard way before trekking here. Jerick holds up a bandaged finger. I suspect they've been altered by the oasis. Collect their shells and take them to Tonga at the crossroads for further study. Go in peace. 